morning good afternoon good evening fabulous this is angela now I, I don't i have questions for me i don't know if i'm gonna be able to follow wags because wags atlanta um because it seemed like when i'm like who is that who is that who is that i couldn't keep the people apart good and then when they would go into their interviews or their green screens they didn't put people's names up on the screen what well, reality show don't put people's names up on the screen I ain't never heard of such a thing. But anyway, we're going to get through the notes that I took yesterday because I do have notes. And then we're just going to play it by ear moving forward, proceeding forward. But I'm Angela. The channel is Be Fabulous You. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and sticking around to see how we get from opening to close. Let us proceed. So we have, um, I think there are three married couples. But anyway, we have Kaylin and JJ. Um, um, and she is... Um, he is that's a white woman caitlin she about 28 and she's married to a black baseball player or he looks black racially ambiguous whatever to me brownish um they've been married two and a half years um she um is a pageant girl and she has a dog named bella sophia i have a dog named bella her name her middle name is the my dog's name is the and her last name is dog d-a-w-g bella the dog so sometimes we just be like where's the dog we talk about you know her middle and last name but anyway um in their little interview thing um um Kaylin is talking to you know talking about their wedding and how they were you know the top nine most elegant weddings in the world or something and her husband is like too expensive too expensive which for for whatever reason I thought was funny but that's Kaylin and JJ she seems a little bit she comes across, I don't know if she's playing the role. I'm not saying that she is dumb, but she kind of comes across a little ditzy, like the dumb blonde type. Um, then we have Kiara and Harry. Um, Kiara's 29 years old. Harry is in the NFL. Um, she's helping him train when we meet them. You know, she like throwing them the football through some machine. And he like, you didn't load it, right? She like, you got to be able to catch it however it come at you. Um she's a pageant girl as well she's a former pro cheerleader um and when she met him he was not her type um they have a one-year-old daughter her name is harrison um and she's named after her daddy i think her middle name is mile but i'm not sure milan i don't know um and she has a little sister named ariel who i think is in the cast there are nine women in the cast but they were introducing women and husbands and i i act i I got started to get confused. Then they had Niche, um, Niche. Her name is Niche, but I think she might have a niche in the market. I don't know, just because her name is Niche. I thought it was Niche. But, um, and sh they met in college. Um, he's an NFL player. He has four rings, he says. He has two um, from the University of Florida. He has one Super Bowl ring, and he has one marriage ring. So I thought that was funny. Um, and then um, we see them, there's a scene when they're like going to church and they talk about how Southern Bells love Jesus. And um, Kaylin says that Jesus is her homeboy. And I'm kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and I think their church is called Oasis Church or something. But it seemed like there were a couple few of them who attended the church. Um, the, and she says that the dog Bella is her home girl. So she got Jesus on one side is the homeboy and Bella on the other side is the homegirl. Is that how it's working? I don't know. But um, I think she got that expression, home girl, homeboy, and she, she liked to use it. Um, and then there's something I think is Hope, Kaylin, and Ariel. They were all in pageants together. So I think we see Hope and she's meeting up in a store with Kaylin and somebody else. Um, Kaylin says she's lonely because her husband plays baseball. So he goes, you know, they be, the baseball players are on the road for long periods of time. Um, and so they decide that they're going to do a party to help keep her company. Um, now, Andre... Um, who's married to Niche, who's in the NFL, and Kiara, who's married to Harry, who's in the NFL. Andre and Harry are friends because they were both drafted into the NFL at the same time. And I guess they've, you know, kind of stayed in touch. Um, so that's another thing to, to note. Um, Hope is doing the entertainment. And I think she's the light-skinned blonde woman. Um and then we meet Keisha and CJ, and I call him Beard. But then there were two people with the beard. I think he's the fluffy beard. Um, and um, she owns multiple businesses. Um, she was a, um, 
a, she said she was a nine figure biatch. Um, so she doesn't need to chase a man. And then he's an NFL player. They have a two year old daughter and he's a free agent. Um, so that's them. Now, I think that this Miss Keisha is the one that we meet at the end of the show who they relationship has um, fallen, just freed up Rocky at Rouge Park. Y'all, we had a squirrel in the house. But anyway, Rocky just got freed up at Rouge Park. We put the trap out just when I thought we was going to have to adopt them. And we had already named them Rock Rocky and have a pet squirrel. We caught them, so we set them out in the wilderness. Rouge Park in Detroit, and I hope he survives. It's a cold spell going on, but I'm sorry, Rocky, but you had to go. Don't come back. Okay. Um, <laughs> so then, oh, so we talked about Keisha and CJ. Um, so um, um, she says that she's ready to get married. This is Keisha, and he says that he um, don't want to be married um, just because... And she says that um, the they were in therapy, I guess, and she felt that the therapist was flirting with him. Um, and she doesn't need to contact him. The therapist doesn't need to contact him solo. So, and then he says, well, now that we're not in therapy, the therapist hasn't contacted me anymore. So was she really trying to hit on me or was she just trying to do her job? And it is common for therapists to... Um, you know, meet with the people individually. So I was kind of confused by that because I don't know. I've never dated a professional athlete. I don't know. Maybe the th maybe every you, every woman be on them or is she jealous? I don't know. And then I guess he be on every woman. So maybe she have a reason um, to, to um, you know, to be on them. I don't, to be jealous. But the, this couple seems to cuss a lot. Like it seemed like it was like bleep, 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 bleep. And I'm like, have I ever noticed that like that much on a reality show? It ain't even no like fighting scene or nothing. They just chatting. Um, and he says how marriage won't solve everything. Um, and he says, you know, he's, you know, we need to see eye to eye on things. That's what he's, what Beard is saying to Keisha and Keisha. And he says, and you know, since I'm taller than you, you're going to have to look up to see eye to eye with me. So I guess he, he don't seem like he, um, you know, to see it his way. Um, he don't seem like he's interested in being pressured into getting married or pr he don't seem like he interested in getting pressured into anything. He, he, I think he could take her or leave her. We see Telly, we meet Telly and Deontay. Um, Deontay is a boxer and I had read that, um, Telly was an RN. Um, they've been, they're dating and she definitely wants a ring. Um, and we see them fighting, you know, in the, you know, like boxing or whatever. Oh, he, he's. He says he's a beast in the bed. She says he's a beast in the ring and the bedroom. And he says he boxed because he needed money. But um, we see them, you know, boxing like she's boxing with her man. And then I look down and I'm like, see her on the floor. I'm like, oh, my God, did he hit her? He hit her for real. And she's like, you don't know your power. And he had hit her. I'm like, who? What professional? Your arms, professional boxer. You can't be play fighting with people. Women, your woman. I mean, I was kind of like, oh, my gosh. And when he knocked her down, she laid on the floor and they humped a couple times. And, um, you know, he's, you know, one, two, three for three babies, one for each hump. And that's what he wants. And she's like, no babies without a ring. Um, and then we see two women in the kitchen. And I think it's Telly and Keisha. And they're bonding over not being married and how badly they want to be married and how they're pressuring the men for the rings. And then Keisha, I think, is setting up um, cameras in her home. Um he's a pro he has she has a pro coming in and they have cameras they she selects the cameras that look like electrical plugs and I'm like wow that's really serious and intense and I guess I just kind of feel like when and I you you might have heard me say this before but when it gets to the point in your relationship where you got to set up hidden cameras it's probably time to let that relationship go you need to go get counseling to see if you're crazy and obsessed or else you don't trust them or both you know maybe they're not trustworthy but I feel if I got to set up camp, yeah, it's, it's, we're past the point. I don't trust you. We're past the point of no return. Um, and she, um, Telly and Keisha, Keisha's trying to get Telly to go along with it. And Telly's like, no, nah, I'm good. You know, um, and then we see the men. It's like some event where the men get together and only one of the men in this gathering has a wedding ring. And one guy is like, well, marriage, you know, it's going to come, you know, even if we have a kid first. And then we find out that this man who's saying that has three babies, mamas, and four children. 
not three ex-wives three so i can understand how that woman would be like i'm gonna be another baby mama but anyway um and then fluffy bear beard is like you know keisha um got the password to everything you know one time she got and caught me with a chick and you know i gave her a hug and you know i can only hug i can i can't hug for more than three minutes at a time it was a chick at the stadium who was a fan and you know i just so i couldn't really figure out if keisha is cuckoo crazy or, or if he's just like a player and is playing on the fact that she i couldn't i was like i don't it didn't seem healthy and i didn't i didn't really like the dynamic between keisha and her man um, um, and so the guy, the, um, the dark guy with the beard, he's like, let me see a demonstration of the hug. How'd you hug them? And you know, they go through and it's like all jokes or whatever. Okay. So then we see Nisha arriving at Kiera's place and they find out she's saying, you know, JJ has been suspended. Now JJ is the baseball player who's married to Kaylin, the white woman. And um, that's her friend's man. He's been suspended for 80 games. Um, he tested positive for po um, testosterone. Um, and it seems like Kiera has... Uh, oh, and Kier, I guess this is the party at the beginning that they had said um, that they were going to do for Caitlin because she's lonely because her man is on the road. And so this is the day of the party when they find out that the man has been suspended on the news or, you know, on the Twitter or on the Internet or whatever. And they can't reach Caitlin. She ain't answering. So the party is like about to happen. Um, so. Yeah, then we see Kiera and Nisha getting ready for the party for Kaylin, and it's raining, and it's like, ooh, it's, you know. And then we see Keisha, she arrives in the red, and then um, Tally arrives in the black dress, and then Hope, I was trying to code it out in case I couldn't figure out who the names are. And then Hope arrives, she's in the lingerie, she's like naked and like black, like she got her breasts all out, we can see cleavage, we got the stomach, we got the booty, we got, I'm like, I mean, it's, it's, it's she's and it's a mixed company it's not just a party for the girls it's like a party for the girls and their husbands and i get i don't know it's it's a weird kind of party concept um and she says you know the one some of the women are like well what are you wearing and let's one of the wives is trying to cover her up and you know the hope is like she 25 year old and cute and she look hot in lingerie and she says that you should be more secure in your um, you should be more secure in yourself and your man should not be looking at me. And I was kind of like, okay, well, I won't be inviting you to my party. I don't know. I mean, she seemed like she's kind of a, I might invite her to my party, but she seemed like she's kind of, she don't have a sense of appropriateness. Ariel um, is in the floral, sincerely comes in. She's in the denim um, in a hat. And she says, she they say that um, sincerely is like the go-to girl for information um, in Atlanta. Then Kaylin arrives. Yay, that's the woman who they were worried about because her husband had been suspended for the 80 games for using drugs and she's she's like she's not going to let anything stop her life and um she's in hot pink and the woman in blue who's the hostess um um kiera maybe um you know is checking on her and she's like you know kaylin is checking on kaylin and kaylin is like well i'm overwhelmed i'm in survival mode and then she ends up locking herself in the bathroom and the girls tell sincerely was well, you know and sincerely like well she probably feel uncomfortable because you know her man is on the road and the other women are like no her man has been suspended he ain't you know that's why she's feeling uncomfortable she's stressed out and sincerely is like oh and you know and then kaylin she end up leave she just come out of the bathroom and she just leaves she don't want to be bothered it's probably not a good time for a party it's a lot of stress and then um kiera um is like she wishes that she had canceled the party um, since, but she should, you know, she should have known with the rain to cancel the party and then the news and, but she had gone on, a, they decided to just go on about the party. And then, um, somebody is talking about how, I guess, Hope had said that she would get the games or the events for the party. And then somebody in their interview is like, well, can you even spell Hope without the hoe? I guess they're saying that she's, she's the one who's in lingerie. I guess she's known for being, you know, I don't know. Maybe she's not the one in lingerie. Leah, she's the one in lingerie. And then there's a game. And I think Hope is the one who's leading it with cucumbers. There's all kinds of cucumbers, different sizes and shapes laid out. And she tells the people, the women, to pick the cucumber that most resembles what you're working with. And it's kind of like you're doing that in mixed company with the men. It, that was just like weird. Like who's going to, that's just weird. Um, 
And then they put in condoms on with their mouths. And she demonstrates. I, I'm like, is she trying to show the men that she? Ha I don't know what's going on. Um, but the two beards um, with their their women. I don't know if this is the same day or another day, but the two men with beards and their women are off smoking cigars. And one of the women is like, "Ooh, wouldn't a duo wedding be nice?" And then um, Keisha and Fluffy Beard, and then the other ones. Okay, so then we're at like some kind of pedicure place, and Nisha and Kaylin are there, and we find out that the official story is that JJ had that JJ's dad had had pancreatic cancer and also around the same time that his dad made his transition one of JJ's teammates died and so he was depressed and Kaylin felt like she had lost her husband they went to a medical doctor for counseling for therapy or whatever the doctor subscribed something and what the doctor has subscribed has shown up as um testosterone in his in his drug test um and Nisha is like, you know, you it tells Kaylin that she has to step up and be a wife and a teammate. And she can't just, you know, be no weak punk about the whole thing. I don't understand what professional athlete goes to a doctor who is not, you know, I feel like I would be going to a specialized doctor, someone who's aware of what's legit and what's not legit, who's up to date and current on what they're testing for, what they're not, whatever. I just don't know. That story sounded weak to me, but I don't know. I've never been a professional athlete. I don't know how they do it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't understand. I think you need another plan. Then we see um, CJ um, Mosley, and that's the fluffy beard and Keisha. And he has discovered um, the cameras in the house due to a voice alert on her phone on Keisha's phone is that what happened and um he's like well show me where the cameras are what where are the cameras I don't see the cameras she's like why do you have he's like why do you have cameras she's like oh you know people get cameras for little kids and stuff like that and he's like well show me where the cameras are and she shows him the plug he like that's an outlet and she's like yeah it's in it so he you know and um he's he's investigating he's pissed he's investigating um and we find out the CG, CJ cheated when um, Keisha was eight months pregnant. And she's um, she says she's not trying to catch him in anything. I'm like, yeah, girl, tell him you're trying to catch him doing something right. Not trying to catch him doing something wrong. It's already too late, mama. <laughs> when you put the cameras in, it was really too late as far as I'm concerned. And um, she's like, you know, I'm, you, uh, you cheated on me and you keep doing stuff and I can't trust you. That's basically what she's saying. And he's like, you know, I think we need a break um, and um, you on straight break. And then um, he leaves afterwards saying, I'll give you time. I guess he's giving her time to pack up her stuff and get the out of the house. So that was um, the Wags Atlanta. Um, I don't like him. So I think, you know, and I don't know if I like her either because I feel like if she's the one who said she was such a, a million dollar, um, you know, multi, you know, uh, what did she say? She said she was a, a nine, a six figure biatch. Then I feel like be a six figure biatch and be on your own or be with somebody who wants to be with you. You don't need to beg anybody to be with you. You beautiful. You talented. Mm -mm. If he don't want mm -mm, mm -mm. that's going to have to be your baby daddy and keep it moving. If you want to be married and that's not something that he wants, keep it moving, mama. But that's what I got today is the best day ever. Be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous. You like, comment, subscribe, share. Peace.